Grow these 15 plants that are high in zinc in your garden. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for your continuous support. If you spend much time looking up health information on the internet, you know that our bodies typically lack certain trace minerals. Zinc is one of these minerals. I enjoy reading, especially about my health, and I see many authors encourage people to include more of this mineral in their diet. You should speak with your doctor or do your own research before deciding to be intentional about adding more zinc into your daily life. However, if you deem that your body needs more zinc and you're interested in growing the foods that could help you consume more of it, I've prepared a list. Here are the herbs and vegetables which are naturally higher in zinc. The significance of zinc as a trace mineral in our body and its multiple functions. The recommended daily intake of zinc according to the National Institutes of Health. The common sources of zinc and the benefits of plant-based options. A list of 15 plants that are rich in zinc with a brief on their growing conditions and the amount of zinc they contain. Zinc is a trace mineral which helps our bodies perform many of the important functions that we perform each day without even noticing. According to the National Institutes of Health, you should consume between 2 mg and 13 mg of zinc per day. This number varies due to age, gender, and pregnancy. Zinc helps our bodies create DNA, build proteins, and support our immune system. Zinc is also known for helping our cells grow and assisting our bodies in healing damaged areas. Zinc can be consumed in a variety of ways. It's common in red meats, shellfish, and dairy. Yet, some people don't enjoy these foods or consume them regularly. In that case, you may be interested in learning about the plant-based options. Let's discuss plants that are higher in zinc and may deserve a space in your garden. Plants, which are high in zinc. Planning your garden around nutrients and minerals you're intentional about adding to your diet could be a good way to ensure you eat the right foods. Here's a list of herbs, fruits, and vegetables that may have a space in your garden if you're interested in growing plants higher in zinc. 1. Lentils. I enjoy using lentils in the place of meat in a sloppy joe. If you enjoy lentils, you'll be pleased to know they can be incorporated into your garden. These plants enjoy rich, well-draining soil. Plus, they love full sunlight. If you're trying to incorporate more zinc into your diet, lentils provide around 2 mg of zinc in each cup. 2. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds have become one of my new favorite snacks, and I love adding them to my salads for added crunch and saltiness. Plus, they're relatively inexpensive at some discount grocery stores. If you'd like to grow your own pumpkins and enjoy the seeds as an added bonus, you'll be glad to know the seeds are higher in zinc. Be sure to provide a growing location with plenty of sunlight and nutrient-dense soil. Pumpkins grow best during the warmer portions of the year. In turn, an ounce of pumpkin seeds may provide 2 mg of zinc. 3. Mustard seed is an enjoyable and tiny spice that I use mainly when I'm making homemade pickles. If, like me, you enjoy mustard greens and mustard seeds, then you might be interested in how to produce both around your home. They're a cold-weather crop and can withstand some frost. These plants enjoy full to partial sunlight and soil that's loamy and well-draining. If you let some of the greens go to seed, they'll produce mustard seeds. One tablespoon provides around 0.5 milligrams of zinc in each. 4. Oregano is great for anything from making sauces to using it herbal teas. If you'd like to grow oregano around your home, it remains hardy in planting zones 4 through 10. Be sure to provide your oregano with a growing location that consists of ample sunlight and soil that drains adequately. In turn, anticipate oregano providing around 1 8 milligrams of zinc in one teaspoon. 5. Avocados have become a fan favorite in recent years. They're great for making dip, enjoying on toast, or eating by themselves with everything. But the bagel seasoning on top. Most people may find it difficult to grow avocados as they're only hardy in planting zones 9 and higher. These trees prefer growing locations with lots of sunlight and mild temperatures. They can also handle some humidity. Avocados provide around one milligram of zinc in each cup of this delicious fruit. Six, cocoa. This is another option which may have to be purchased for most, but if you enjoy the flavor of cocoa powder, you'll be glad to know it's high in zinc. These trees need protection from strong winds, soil that drains adequately and is high in nitrogen and steady temperatures. Plus, the trees enjoy humidity and plenty of rain. In turn, 100 G of cocoa powder has around 6 mg of zinc. 7. Cardamom isn't one of the most well-known spices. It's a close relative of ginger and is used regularly in Indian cuisine. If you're a fan of cardamom, you'll be glad to know it may be overwintered indoors, grown in a greenhouse, or in a container. 
you may have to take special care to keep the plant alive over winter unless you live in planting zones 10 and higher. You should also supply a growing location with temperatures above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, consistently damp conditions, and plenty of humidity. In turn, 100 G of cardamom contains around 7 milligrams of zinc. 8. Peaches are a sweet, delicious fruit that many people enjoy fresh or as part of a dessert. Peach trees come in dwarf varieties, so they may be grown in containers and overwintered indoors if you live outside of their hardiness zones. They enjoy a growing location with plenty of sunlight and soil that's nutritious and well-draining. Expect peaches to provide approximately 0.2 milligrams of zinc per 100 G of the fruit. 9. Mushrooms are a great plant to produce because they can be grown from a kit. They don't require hardly any space, and they can be used in a variety of recipes. Expect mushrooms to remain hardy in planting zones 2 through 10. They can thrive in various temperatures, which range from 40 degrees Fahrenheit to almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Mushrooms prefer a damp growing location and ideally prefer milder temperatures. One cup of mushrooms contains around 0.3 milligrams of zinc. 10. Dill is a cool weather herb that's great for use in a variety of recipes. Its most common use is when making pickles. Many people don't realize how sturdy of a plant dill is. This herb is hardy in planting zones 2 through 11 and can survive in lower quality soil. It does best when provided with well-draining soil and ample sunlight, and it prefers temperatures between 60 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Dill contains up to approximately 5 milligrams of zinc per 100 milligrams, depending on the variety. 11. Thyme is another common herb that many people use to season their foods. You won't need to grow a lot of this plant, as a little goes a long way. Thyme contains approximately 1 milligram of zinc per 100 milligrams. This plant remains hardy in zones 5 through 9. It also enjoys a bright growing location filled with soil that's well-draining and aerated. 12. Peas are a vining plant that doesn't need much room to produce a harvest. You may grow peas in a container, raised bed, or traditional garden plot. Trellising them helps to keep the growing location tidy. When growing peas, provide a space with full sunlight and loamy, well-draining soil. Green peas may be grown in planting zones 2 through 11. They're also a decent source of zinc, as 100 milligrams contains approximately 1 milligram of zinc. 13. Spinach is a delicious leafy green that's great for growing in containers or by utilizing other gardening methods. It also makes a wonderful cool weather crop. If you're interested in growing spinach, be sure to provide nutrient-dense soil and ensure it drains adequately. You should also keep the soil evenly damp and try to grow spinach when temperatures are around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This plant also enjoys a growing location with full to partial sunlight. In turn, 100 G of spinach can provide approximately one milligram of zinc. 14. Blueberries. There's nothing that compares to homegrown blueberries. They're sweet, a little sour, and make a great snack or dessert. Blueberries need a growing location with full to partial sunlight and soil that's both nutritious and well-draining. You may grow blueberries in containers or by planting in a traditional garden plot you should receive approximately 0.2 milligrams of zinc from 100 G of blueberries. 15. Apricots are another wonderful fruit to grow around your home. They prefer a growing location with soil that's nutritious, well-draining, and able to hold on to necessary moisture. Grow apricot trees in areas with cold winters and shorter springs. If you have a warm spell in the middle of winter, it could cause the tree to come out of dormancy. This plant needs full sunlight to thrive. Then enjoy the harvest, and as you munch on an apricot, know that each piece of fruit provides 0.7 milligrams of zinc. As you can see, zinc is thought to be a vital mineral. It can be acquired by eating various foods. If you'd like to ingest more zinc in your diet, you now have 15 different fruits, vegetables, and herbs to choose from. Hopefully, you'll find the right combination to ensure you consume your recommended daily amount of zinc and enjoy each bite throughout your day. Zinc plays a crucial role in our body, aiding in DNA creation, protein building, supporting the immune system, cell growth, and healing damaged areas. The daily recommended intake of zinc can vary between two milligrams and 13 milligrams, depending on age, gender, and pregnancy. While red meats, shellfish, and dairy are common sources of zinc, there are numerous plant-based alternatives for those who don't consume these. Some of the top plants rich in zinc include lentils, pumpkin seeds, mustard seeds, oregano, avocados, cocoa, cardamom, peaches, mushrooms, dill, 
thyme, peas, spinach, blueberries, and apricots. Introducing a diverse range of zinc-rich plants into your diet can help ensure you get your recommended daily intake, catering to both health and taste. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Till next time, God bless you all.